Hey everyone, this is DJ Possess of Chicago, and today I'm going to show you how I make my own tractor remix sets in uh, Tractor Pro 2.0 and um, using CDs that I get from Music Tech and Future Music and Computer Music Magazine. So I have uh, off to the camera, off to the uh, left, I've got a Tractor F1 controller but you don't need to see that right now and I have Tractor Pro here set up and on the left here I have a regular track deck and on the right I have a remix deck set where I like to start off um, I like to have my my library very very organized I'm pretty uh, pretty obsessive about that so I'm gonna walk you through these steps on a Mac if you have a PC um, you can do the conversion I used to be a PC guy myself and I switched over to Mac so you can do it too first thing I'm gonna do here on deck A is hit letter A here change this to a remix deck okay and hit the spacebar I need to expand my preparation list and I have a list here called 00 remix sets there's no songs in there right now or anything and then I'm going to come over to my finder and you'll see that in finder I have a ton of folders and all these folders contain the WAV files that I've pulled from CDs from the magazines so the folder I'm in right now is uh, old old school rave 130 BPM if I open that up I've got keys and synths beats and percussion B beats and percussion A and bass all right, I'm going to hop back over to Tractor for a second here. Hit my space bar again. And expand my remix deck. Come back over to Finder. And I want to expand Beats and Percussion A. And in here, I've got 24 WAV files. Let's sort them out by name. I'm just going to grab the first 16. Take these, drag them over into Tractor, into the first set, and let go. <clears throat> and in Tractor, it's going to quickly analyze all these and put them in order <clears throat> into the four banks in the remix set. I always like to have the beats in, let's say, deck A or deck 1, bass in deck 2, and deck 3 and 4 kind of alternate. I usually like to have any effects in deck 4. So I'll go back over to Finder, Command arrow up, go to the bass folder, Command arrow down, Shift, uh, let me sort this. All right, shift, arrow down, take the next 16, drag these over, command arrow up, go to keys and synth, command arrow down, sort these, shift, arrow down, take the next 16, Drop these into bank three. Command arrow up. And then I have uh, beats and percussion B. I'm going to leave that alone for right now. So it looks like that's all I have. There's no effects folder in this particular CD. So let's come back over to Tractor. And <clears throat> expand my track collection. Hit the space bar. You'll see I've got a folder called All Remix Sets. These are all the remix sets that I have made so far. The one that I just made 
is not in here yet because I have not hit save yet. You see the last one that I have in the list here is uh, New Rave. All right, <clears throat> hit your space bar. Go back up to the top here, double click on this name. And you'll notice that I have my tractor window kind of resized this way on purpose so I can see the finder folder behind here. I remember where I am. Old school rave 130. Okay, so I start RM old school rave 130 BPM 1. And I know I have more than one folder that's called old school rave, so I'm going to call this one. I start every remix set off with the, with the letters RM so that they go alphabetically and I know what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm, if, uh, if I saw this, this sound here, uh, Womp H2, I know that it goes uh, to a new wave, new rave remix set. So I keep myself organized by calling all my remix sets with the letters RM first. Name that, hit the A, come down, and hit Save Remix Set. Alright, hit my spacebar. Two fingers on the scroll bar, scroll pad on the Mac, scroll down, and you'll see now I have a remix set called RM Old School Rave 130, and it has 48 sounds in it. You'll see all the sounds here in the library. And then the remix set itself is at top, and you can tell by the icon that shows up on the left. Now, I'm making this video on my iPad, so forgive me if things are a little fuzzy or a little out of focus. But if you're watching and playing along on your own laptop, then you know what we're doing. Now, the problem that I, do, that I have that I don't like is that <clears throat> there's no cover art, there's no artist, there's no genre. And if I <clears throat> right click on my title bar, comments 1 and comments 2 <clears throat> are all blank. I'm going to drag this over here. I like to keep things organized for myself. And I also share these in my own um, download.com folder uh, for free. So what I'm going to do now is right click on the sound. And you'll see that you can load these, you can find them, you can import cover, check consistency, but you cannot edit <clears throat> the sound when you're in the remix set. So, this to me is a flaw, not a flaw, but it's a uh, annoying feature that Native Instruments needs to fix. So what you have to do is select the first thing, or on your keyboard, just do a Control A, Command A on a Mac. Highlight everything, hold down your mouse pad, drag it over to your preparation folder, Remix Sets. Right. Go to your preparation folder, go to your remix sets playlist, <clears throat> and now you'll see all the sounds that you just dragged over from Finder into Tractor to make this new remix set. Click, and once again do a Command A, Control A to select all. And two finger tap, right click to get this context menu to come up, hit edit. Now you have the edit menu window where you can edit all the sounds at one time. Now, this is really for my own purposes. I, I'm not trying to say that I made these sounds. I don't want anybody making comments and misinterpreting this. But here we go. Under artist, I put my DJ name. DJ Possess of Chicago. Under producer, I put my name, Chris Johnson. 
under genre. I put RM for remix. And we'll just say it's let's see, old school rave. We'll just say RM rave. Now this is important. When you go to your genre folder, you have all your other songs and all your other music in your genre folder. You don't want your remix sets of rave to be mixed up with your songs of rave. So call them RM. Any remix sets you make, you want to designate them so they're separate from the songs of the same type. Okay? So RM rave. Under comment, I put samples from magazine CDs. Under comment 2, I put my website www.djpossess.com Hit apply, although I don't think the apply button does anything, and hit OK. Now, in all the sounds, I've got my DJ name, I've got my genre filled in, I've got comment 1 and comment 2 filled in. Remember we are in preparation playlist, not the remix set, but of course if you edit this once it goes everywhere. So go back to your remix set, click Command A to select everything, right click, delete from playlist, get some out of there. Click on your remix set itself. RM Old School Rave, and you see all your sounds are right there, edited, with all that metadata that you need to put in there. Now this I put in there, um, like I said, I zip these, and I'll put them in my downloads.com folder, and uh, on different blogs and different websites, I'll just kind of post that I have free remix sets if anybody wants them. So I like to share these. Um, I have maybe five, six years worth of magazine CDs that have been sitting and I realized I could do this when a tractor came out with the remix sets and make good use out of these. I used to use them in Ableton. Um, honestly, they really, the CDs really sat in, in my folder more than anything, so I'm glad I can finally make some use out of these. So, let's scroll up to the very, very top on the left. Click on Track Collection. Right-click, two-finger tap hit save collection. If you're doing this, I, I do this on the train in my ride to and from work because I have about an hour and a half commute. I do this in the morning, I uh, do this in the evening. Always hit save. Always, always, always hit save collection. Um, I've got a Mac with two hard drives in it, so all these samples from CDs are on the second hard drive. Um, you need to save your collection because in the background, which you don't know, the tractor is busy writing this metadata to these files. So let's say if I were to close tractor right now, I'd see a message at the bottom that says flushing background jobs or something like that, which I learned. I was like, okay, tractor is really working in the background. I didn't even know. So save your file, save your work, save your collection, and just make a habit of doing that. That way, you're, if your computer crashes, you haven't lost your work. Now, go to your genre folder. Double click on that. You're going to sometimes see that you've got, if you're as detailed as I am, you have all your genres listed out, of course, for all your music. You're going to have some that are going to say unknown. And sometimes the metadata that you write from the preparation list, it either doesn't write to the file or it takes longer to write it in the background than you realize. And at the top here you have all your remix sets that you just wrote. Again, the metadata for some reason doesn't write to this. You have to actually go 